Hi, today we have a short video on the Moku Lab's Frequency Response Analyzer. We want to show you how easy it is to capture and share the amplitude and phase response plot, often called a Bode plot. And a frequency response analyzer has a wide range of applications, from measuring the transfer function of electrical circuits, such as EMI filters of transformers, to power supply regulator stability on Bode plots. But frequency response analyzers also have applications outside of electrical engineering, such as fluid impedance measurements and categorizing piezo ceramic components. But in this video, we're looking at a mini circuit filter, and I think it's a bandpass filter. We're going to demonstrate to you how this instrument works. So we start up our MoQ and connect the bandpass filter. And then a swept sine wave will go out from the MoQ output into the bandpass filter and the magnitude and phase will be measured in the MoQ input. Now, MoQ can be one out of 12 instruments. But it takes just a moment to select the frequency response analyzer and launch it. We can immediately see the bandpass response and use the touch interface to center and zoom. Zooming into the passband around 20 MHz. Let's grab a couple of cursors to measure the width of the bandpass. Lower minus 3 dB is right at 17.56 MHz. And upper minus 3 dB is at 25.94 MHz. So it's very quick and easy to plot the response of this filter in amplitude and phase and take some measurements of the passband. Now, let's share these results with some colleagues. I hit the cloud icon. There are many ways of sharing. My files, SD card, iCloud and Dropbox. Let's use Dropbox to quickly share the results. Okay, and now that we have exported it to Dropbox, we can access it from almost anywhere. Here's the Excel file, and here's the screenshot. As simple as that. Thank you for watching.